gotta be kidding me. Come on, accelerate, accelerate. Oh, he's gonna drive into us. Oh no. Oh, it's a big crossover. Jeez. Is this thing a legit derby car? I feel like it's gonna be too top heavy. And, oh, that's just a mess. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Wreckfest, and yes, folks, we're back once again, and folks, we have some new DLC in Wreckfest, and I must say, this is some awesome stuff. So you're looking at the new track here, this is uh, actually a little bit more practical track than you normally see on Wreckfest. This is called Rattlesnake Race Park. What you're also seeing is one of three new cars that we're going to be trying out here today. So we're going to have a lot of fun. If you guys are excited for some more Wreckfest on the channel, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button and uh, let's go check out the cars. All right, so we're here. We're going to go ahead and go into the Rattlesnake Race Park. But fear not, we're going to do some crazy races uh, later in the episode. So stay tuned for that. But this Rattlesnake Race Park is actually, I believe, based on something called the Wild West Motorsports Park. Uh, it's a uh, off-road track. And yeah, it's almost exactly like it. The only changes I see is actually on the back straight. Uh, I've actually uh, driven this thing in uh, iRacing. But yeah, we're going to go into that. And then we're going to do the main circuit. Now, for the new cars, you have the Trophy Runner, which is a sweet-looking trophy truck. Uh, we do have an awesome Jeep. This thing is called the Trooper. Uh, we'll probably try this one out first. And then, folks, there is a really awesome car called the Sandstorm. Check this thing out. This thing is extreme looking. So, let's start out with a small one, and then we'll work our way up. All right, here we are. Rattlesnake Race Park. Let's begin the race. Uh, for this first race, we're going to do all the same car. So, we're going to have a ton of Jeeps. Uh, it's cool, though. You can see some of the variations. There's some with hard tops on them. Uh, we've got an open top on this bad boy, and oh, this is cool. Also, the AI is just leaving me a nice lane here in the middle. And let's go ahead and bully our way up the inside. Oh, dear. Okay. You know what? These uh, Jeeps handle actually kind of good. Oh, we're out to the early lead. We just got the whole shot there. I feel like they should have started us a little further back. And all right, here we go to the right. It's going to be a pretty tight corner. Getting to the gas. Oh, man. We pushed wide there. And you can see chaos going on on the other side of the track. Oh, that is so cool seeing. All right, let's go up. Oh, come on, turn, turn, turn. Uh, maybe we could spin this guy out. Nope, that's not going to be a pit. So, yeah, I can assure you this is going to be the most tame race of the video. Uh, I didn't expect much from the uh, the trooper here. But, I mean, nonetheless, it's a pretty cool, I would say, kind of starter car. Also, I'm kind of surprised this thing doesn't like to flip. It just looks top heavy. All right, here we come down the main straight. Two complete lap one. And, yeah, this thing's... Pretty much a carbon copy of the uh, the Motorsports Park, the Wild West one, uh, even to the jumps. Uh, the only thing that seems different is on the back where they have that little split jump. Uh, but according to iRacing and uh, this one here, they're like almost the same. Oh, the AI is going to make it a race here. Uh, I do race with the uh, expert difficulty. I must say they actually seem a little easier on this track than normal. I mean, it could just be the vehicle combination and we need to go crazy with them. So we'll probably do one more race. Maybe we'll do it with the uh, the big off-roader. Uh, I would say that. Whoa, what the heck? What? Okay, that was something. So yeah, I want to do a race with the uh, the big one, not the trophy truck. We'll uh, maybe save that for another track. And Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, we're starting to stretch the, uh, the gap there. I don't know what happened to the AI. They were going end over end. Uh, that was really cool looking. All right, hard on the brakes. Keep it up the inside. Oh, this thing slides. There's not much grip in it. Oh, this guy wants to play. All right, so we have like one AI that's actually uh, doing decent against us. All right, here we go on the back stretch. Yes, we definitely need a vehicle that's a lot faster for this track. Like, I feel like that would make this way more intense. All right, take the outside jump, and we're going to come around to the last uh, corner here. Really quick laps. Like, we're looking at right around a minute per lap. I'm sure with some of the other classes, you'll probably be right around maybe the 55 second mark. Uh, there's quite a few straightaways here, so there's a lot of speed to be had. And, oh, yeah, we're going to start the episode off with the win here. There we go. First place. All right, so we're back once again. This time we're going to use uh, the Sandstorm, and we're going to do just a straight-up A-class race, and then we'll move on to a different track. 
I just want to see what happens when you have more speed here. And oh, this thing looks incredible. And oh, the takeoff. Dude, the acceleration. Okay, this is feels like kind of an OP vehicle, huh? And how's the turning? Oh, yeah. Uh, it kind of grips. It feels like it pushes, actually. On, check that out. The acceleration on this is awesome. I wonder how this thing would do on asphalt. Like, for the dirt, this seems perfect. And oh, come on, come up the inside. Oh, we shoved that one guy off. Uh, man, I really wish they would start us a little further back in the pack on this one. Maybe on the outside and make us work through the traffic. Because I must say, the AI on the first corner, they like to actually stay kind of in order. And you can just shoot up the inside or the outside lane where they're not. And you'll gain a ton of positions. Also, the AI in front seems a little more competitive here in A-Class. All right, here we come. First lap is done. We're doing four laps here. I got to try to track him down. We're actually at, it actually feels like a challenge now. Hold on, let's go up the inside and, uh, no, this thing doesn't feel like it has enough weight to move other cars. I guess that's the only downside. It doesn't feel like a, uh, a bulldozer like a lot of the other vehicles do. Uh, we're going to shove our way up the inside. Oh, he's going to do the crossover though. You got to be kidding me. All right, we're going to have to find a different way around. I'm going to have to shove him out in the corner. I do I have a big bumper. I kind of have like a, a bar on the front. I don't know if it's enough to... What the... There's a van stuck over there. That's something. Oh, and let's take this jump. It's kind of hard to get to that other jump, the one that's on the left side. Uh, it feels kind of awkward coming off that corner. All right, here we go. Dive it down. <laughs> no, we're going to let the leader get away here. All right, I got to make my move up in turn one. I feel like we'll have to do kind of another dive bomb. Actually, you know what? We're going to back out early. We're about to lap people. What is going on here? Okay, brakes, brakes, brakes. Okay, since I can't really move him out of the way, got to play it smart here. There we go. And cut him off. Oh, he's off. Okay. So all we got to deal with now is the leader. We've got two to go here. Come on, let's try to get up the inside. I got to build some speed here. Uh, this thing feels like it's all about momentum. All right, we're going to take this jump. Let's see how this handles. All right, go over here. Uh, it feels a little smoother than the outside. You don't get quite as much air on these jumps. And Oh, come on. All right, cut. Oh, I need the AI to fly out a little further. All right, here we go. Final lap. Can I catch the leader? I mean, we could do a power move down here in one. I don't think it's enough, though. We're not close enough. I don't want to overshoot and just drive into the wall. Come on. All right, we might could set up a pass down here. I'd have to drive it in really far. Oh, we got this. This is going to be a pass. Ugh. Oh, it does not move them. Oh, man. That's the only thing this uh, car does not have going for it. It is hard to move people, huh? Oh, he's going to move me into the wall. You got to be kidding me. All right. Let's try to shoot under. Okay, let's go to the inside jumps. Where's he going to go? Oh, he's going to go into him too. We can push him. Oh, we're going to have to push him off. We're going to need to send him off in the corner here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Come on, accelerate, accelerate. Oh, he's gonna drive into us. Oh, we're beating him bang into the line. Oh, yes. He got sideways. Wow. We passed him there at the end. That's awesome. All right, well, uh, I'll take that win. So I feel like we need to go to a little bit more crazy tracks here. All right, so a track that I've actually missed from previous updates is called Recknado. And can you guess why it's called that? I mean, it looks like everybody ends up in the middle here. So. We're going to run this with a trophy truck race. So we're going to run all trophy trucks, and then we might have to do some sort of derby or something. All right, here we go, Recknado. Let's see what this track's all about. Oh, it's two lanes going down a chute. All right, this is going to be cool. Also, this trophy truck, though. This is a cool vehicle. What the heck? We just launched right down into a jump. you got to be kidding me. All right, here we go. And then you pick. All right, so you can go to either side. Oh, this is glorious. This is my kind of track, huh? Let's come around here. So the trophy trucks, these things actually handle really, really well. And oh, no. Oh, it's a big crossover. Jeez. All right, let's go up the side. So we're in third place. Try to get some grip here. All right. Oh, I love the way this track funnels into itself. This is so cool. Uh, it's actually really, really short, though. This is going to be like one of the shorter races that we've done. There we go. I feel like I kind of want to just do this with, like, extreme vehicles. Maybe, like, buses and stuff. But, oh, no! Oh, man! I knew that was coming. Okay, we're still good. The leader's right in front of us here. Uh, not a lot of time to go. This is going to be a really quick race. 
There we go. Two to go. The leader just kind of bounced off another truck there. Oh, watch out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. So you don't want to hit the sides here. Yeah, the fences are kind of angled, so you just kind of shoot up them. That kind of stinks. All right, here we go. Oh, I think the only chance I have is if the, uh, the leader gets taken out here. Like, I need him to run right through the intersection and get plowed. All right, here we go. Second place is in front of me. I'm going to hit somebody. Okay, I thought I was going to nail somebody again. All right, come around. We are on the final lap here. Folks, it's almost over. We got one more corner. The leader might be in this group ahead of us. Did they just finish? I don't know. Also, one of the cars is so destroyed up there. It looks like a little buggy or something. What the heck is that? All right, here we go. Here's the finish. Oh, they were right there. That was really close. It was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. How close was that? Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. It was less than a second. Uh, basically, the top three were under a blanket there. All right, so here we are at the Mud Ford Motor Park. This is another track I've missed. Uh, this is a little dirt oval. And we're going to do a demo derby after this, but I wanted to try this uh, with the sandstorm. Uh, so, yeah, 10 laps. This is going to be fun. All right, here we go. Should be a fairly quick race. And, yeah, we kind of just shoot to the outside. And, wait, can we use the outside? Look at that. Look how bogged down the AI is on the inside. We can just go to the outside. Look at all the positions we're making up. Oh, you know what? We might need to stay inside of the, uh, the fence here. And Oh, this is a cool little track. Yeah, this is one we've missed. This is more like a mud pit oval. Like, it's not a uh, traditional dirt oval where it's nice and smooth. Uh, but I think it's perfect for a vehicle like this. Like, this feels good. Oh, let's go to the uh, high side. I think a lot of it's going to be once we get into traffic, what the AI does. Uh, because right now, this high side is ridiculous. Like, why even slow? Oh, okay. That's why you slow yourself down for the inside. Oh, okay. That looked like it hurt. Oh, dude, we collapsed in the roof there. This is fine. All right, we're good. All right, let's try that again. So the high side has a lot of speed, not this high side. That's outside the track. Also, I like how there's like a, a bulldozer parked right on the side of the track. That's totally not dangerous. But yeah, if you can get it to stick right here in this outside lane, uh, there's a lot of speed because I'm passing AI like crazy, and this is on expert. All right, fourth place. Let's keep the outside momentum up. Uh, looks like there's a big gaggle up there. I'm sure that's some lap cars. And I know we're coming up to even more, so... I feel like we still have a chance to win here even though we uh, had a big crash and oh yeah look at this look at them they're all bogged down on the inside man you got oh what the heck that's a roadblock okay yep and that is the lead all right we're good just keep it up oh here comes the ai that flew off the track this is fine i feel like with our pace here there's a potential we can lap the field uh, because we are just blowing the doors off people okay, here we go we're lapping more Okay, how fast? Oh, it's a 14-second lap. And, oh, man, I really would love to lap everybody. Like, you can see the intervals up in the top left. Oh, that's not going to help us by flying off the track here. Yeah, you can see the intervals. Like, second place is six seconds behind me. That's close to uh, half a lap behind. I feel like it'd be even better if I would stop flying off the track. Oh, dear. Somebody's on the outside. Watch out. There we go. All right, still about five seconds. I'm pretty sure we've lapped up to about fifth place, uh, but I don't know if we're going to have time to get to the leaders because we're on the last lap here. Like, if I put seven seconds on them, I've got everybody almost half a lap down, and come on, there it goes, seven seconds, right at the end. I must say, that track's actually a little easy. I don't know if it's the vehicle combination, but, yeah, that high line was dominant. And yep, we uh, lapped up to fifth place. That's crazy. All right, and for the final event, we're going to be at Recnado. This is the Demolition Derby, and we're going to use the trophy truck here. But we have all derby cars, so let's see what we get. And Oh, man. Is this thing a legit derby car? I feel like it's going to be too top-heavy. Oh, that's just a mess. Come on. Come on, flip over. Oh, no, don't flip me over. I need to go. Go, 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 go. All right. Oh, this is not looking good. All right, let's get some speed here. I need, I need to hit some people. Okay, should I use the rear of this? Oh, man, we are getting pummeled. Wait, what? Yeah, there's a, a very, very big downside to this trophy truck. You get little cars can drive, like, under you and wedge you and flip you over. Okay, I think we are proving this is definitely not a derby car. This is going to be about survival. We need to get away from people. <laughs> Come on. Oh, flip back up. Okay, I'm going to reset there. All right, let's see if we can at least do some damage. Let's get a couple good hits. There we go. 
I mean, there might be a way to upgrade this and make it more of a derby style car, but uh, the default trophy truck, this is definitely not in. Oh man, that car was flipping. Hey, we got a wreck. We actually killed somebody here. What? I'm actually a little confused. Hold on, we got a person on the side. Oh, there we go. Oh man. Hold on, there's a lot of people. There's another wreck right there. Hey, you know, if it has something going for it, it's really tough because we've been beat up a lot here. Oh, and here comes another one. Oh, there's another wreck. I mean, we're at least getting points for that, right? Oh, and there's a lot of people down on uh, health here. A lot of juicy opportunities, and oh, we just flipped that guy. All right. Keep going, keep going. Uh, hit this guy. Oh, he's almost wrecked. Come on, somebody finish him off. Oh, don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. Nope, oh, 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 oh. Go to the outside. Wait, if we can win the derby with this, like, that's awesome. I didn't think that'd be possible. Uh, Han, and... Oh! Oh, that guy's got a lot of health. Here, let's get away. You know, surprisingly, you can use the front end on this car a lot. Uh, is this person... Oh, this person's still alive, in. Not no more. Okay, yeah, there's another takedown that's four. Okay, looking for a couple more. Let's flip that guy over there. Oh, there's a lot of people with, uh, a low health. Come on! No! I thought I was gonna be able to get to him. Oh, we got another guy right here. Let's try to cut him off. Uh, oh, that's another one. That's five. All right, I feel like we have a chance. There's definitely a chance. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we got one right here. And, uh, oh, I figured he'd take himself out right there. Oh, let's try to swing around and see if we can go back and get him. Okay, we need to cut him off here. Cut him off, cut him off. Uh, man, he's on his last bit of life. And, oh, somebody's gonna cut across our nose. Uh, Wait for it, wait for it. Shoot off in this group. Oh, there's another one. We're at critical now. That is seven people wrecked with this. Okay. I I'm digging this. I'm surprised here. Hold on. Let's try to cut this guy off and... Uh-oh. Uh oh, it's going to be close. Hold on. Use the back. Use the back. Okay. There's another wreck. All right. We're at 10. It's going to be close. We need to get moving here. Come on. Oh. Oh, we're at eight. Oh, it's so close. I need the AI to take each other out. I need to kind of sandbag a little bit here to see if we can make it to the finish. Okay, we're gonna swing back in. Somebody's got a lot of life left. That's not good for us. Uh, uh. Oh, we're at four. We're totally not winning now. Oh, no, there we go. What was that, fourth? You know, I have to say I'm surprised I made it that far. Like, that's a miracle. And I, I got eight wrecks. I mean, come on. That's awesome. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode. Got to check out the new DLC. So if you guys want to see more multiplayer or single player, comment down below. Let me know, and we'll see you guys next time.